Hey everyone, welcome back to EU for the rights of man as Ethiopia. And I've decided we're going to declare this war now. Um, it's going to be even easier because we have military tech 5, which gives us a new unit. Um, whereas uh, Warshangali has military tech 4. So yeah, this should be, this actually should be quite easy. So let's, let's go for this rush in, take our two provinces and be done with it. So there you go. And... Um, yeah, I might bring you over here as well. Actually, Mogadishu is going to lose their fleet here, which is very sad for them. I, I pity them a little bit. I don't really care, to be quite honest, but uh, that's okay. Now, 8,000 men. They actually have a much, much more decent general. So we're going to wait for our troops to arrive. For some reason, they get to, they get to walk over here. That's interesting. Well, we're going to walk here. Um, we have a little bit of money. Can't actually buy anything with it just yet. But that's okay. And um, we've sieged this. We're going to go for that capital as well. And you go and siege this as well. Easy as that. And um, 7,000 can go here. Come on. Don't know where he's trying to run. This. Let's actually. Let's use these 15,000 first before we do anything. And destroy his army completely, just crush him, and then we can do whatever. There you go. You, I want to take Busaso, and then we can go ahead and siege his capital. Which actually, by the way, we might not need, as, you know, we're at 51% already. He might give us what we want. He does not. Oh, we do not have a fort. I see. So we do need to siege his capital. That's, that's fine. I will do that gladly. Even with one unit is enough. Okay, great. So, how many men do we need here? Three. So, let's uh, shift consolidate. And give me one, two, three. Go over here. And the rest. I suppose this guy can be left here as well. And you can be... The cavalry, take this. You split in half. You take that and loot loot the promises like you are mad all right I think while we are at this we might want to also unfund our troops actually no that's a bad idea that's actually a bad idea yeah there you go let's not do that all right so we're gonna besiege everything we'll loot what we can it's actually making quite a lot of money war operations spoils of war is pretty good but gold we're still relying heavily on gold so we need to we need to change that, but uh, as I said, our plan is actually to re rely even more on gold by taking it from Mutapa. But that's something uh, for the future. For now, this is just going to be a quick, easy war. We can invest in a technology. Let's do that. Yeah, that's going to lower corruption as well. Very nice. Yep, okay, so corruption is going to be quite low. Nice. And we can go for a idea group, and I think religious is important. Now, religious is so good. First of all, with Deus Vault, we're going to uh, have a very nice cause spell against neighboring heathens and heretics. Incredibly useful, um, since there's not really many other cops around. And uh, also, it's going to obviously help us with, uh, well, converting our lands. And even more important, uh, we have a lot of admin points. At least our, our current ruler is a pretty good admin ruler. And the next one is pretty decent in admin as well. Um, so I think, well, a current concert is actually a sinner. So she probably wouldn't go for this idea. Maybe we're going to hold off on that because economic could also be quite useful for the national bank. So I'm not too certain. We're not going to pick anything just yet. We don't have the points right now, so we can hold off. Uh, I will not make a decision just yet. Uh, Marahan has declared war on Warsangali. Okay, that's fine. Well, you're not going to be able to do much because I will be the one to pick uh, some some stuff. But yeah, we could go for a church here, but I don't see a province where that's incredibly useful, so I doubt we're actually gonna do that. All right, that's fine. Um, could go for an advisor. Now, advisor always nice. Always, always nice. Uh, national tax, stability, unrest. Hmm, that'd be something. Where, oh, but the, the, these guys are gonna rise up anyways. They will as well, so don't think it's really going to be all that useful. Instead, I think it's time... Oh, you're winning now. You're winning quite quite a lot. 
Karaku, you, you still have a lot of men. You still have 28,000 against 30,000. You could win this. Yeah, I don't think this is something we want to take on. I just... I think it's going to be difficult. Um, so yeah, we're actually going to use you. And uh, build a spy network there. Yes. Mogadishu I could force to become Coptic. But I don't think that they would be particularly good at converting their land. So it would only make them weaker. So I, I don't think I want to do this. Nope. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. We will have to send this guy in there though. Just so we can continue the siege. Which is actually going to take a long time. That was something I did not expect. This is going rather slow. Let's send the horsemen in as they can loot much faster than any other troops. Uh, I'll send you here. I suppose. Because why not? So this should go much faster. Yes, 1.6 will be looted next month. Alright, good. So at least we're making some decent cash. And there are the rebels. Pooh, we need to make sure that they are not taking our stuff, which could be problematic. They're probably not going to immediately move, so that's good. That actually helps us out quite a bit. Um, but we need to do something about it. We have the walls busted, so we'll wait. We'll, we'll wait until we have sieged this, and then we'll uh, we'll do the rest. Okay. Our fortress has at least some garrison, so these guys are going to be a little bit trapped. Nice. I want them. I want them to go maybe onto this mountain fort because then again we can crush them in the mountains, but we're going to be the ones defending. That's just amazing. And Ardalan separatists are going to rise up as well. So, yeah, we are going to need our strength. We're definitely going to need our strength. Fourteen thousand men. Poo. A lot of people. A lot of people to fight. All right, Harare, 13,000 have risen up. Okay, still though, this is in Highlands and this is another fortress. So I believe we're going to be able to defend this as well. Nice, very nice. Okay, so we've won that war. So let's get our troops together and then, uh, well, let's dictate what we want. I want you, well, first of all, you need to come back from, hmm, the Mamluks actually. I think we're going to fabricate a claim on Hylap, but... Yeah, I don't think I want to continue this particularly because, yeah, I, I doubt we're actually going to be able to declare that war. Alright, still, once you're back, let's get this gone. So let's take these poop provinces, that's what I want. Could obviously take more, but then again, make you a vassal. It could make you a vassal. Now let me quickly see, what does this require? Objectives owned just own Berbera, so we could have another vassal, Warsangali here. <sighs> he has a lot of claims, a lot of lands, and he's currently at war with this guy. We could take him over. That would not get. That would basically get rid of one diplomatic ally. Huh? If I vassalize him, let me let me check this out. So if I was to. If I was to just take this and then vassalize, Ajaran, Warsangali, Adal would be unhappy, but they can't really say much. And if I would then feed Marahan, but Marahan has cores of their own that I could feed them. Mm, honestly, I think I'm just gonna go with this. Yeah, I think I think that's how we're gonna do it. That and. Hmm, give up claims. That would give us prestige, so might as well. I think I want to go for this. That's fine. Yeah, we'll have... We'll not have too many big wars going on. Alright, that's okay. Yeah, and let's go ahead and make this a core immediately. There you go. Nice. And we've conquered Berbera, and we have just unlocked a achievement Queen of Conquest. Okay, let me quickly check that out. I've never I've never seen that before. A blessed nation. As a Coptic nation gain all five blessings. This is the achievement we're gonna go for, uh, as well as the Prestodron achievement. And we've just gained a new one though. 
conquer a land while in a queen regency. Okay, so this is another uh, one of the new achievements that I've just gained. Okay, that's cool. And win a war with at least one dead on both sides. One dead? Oh, one million casualties. Yeah, I think... Okay, hmm, whatever. Still. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's just uh, let's just continue. Okay, so that's very nice. Uh, we've gotten a nice achievement. So Vassalize Midri Bari is, is getting... It's getting like a... Uh, hmm, what I'm trying to say here. Seems like a good idea. So... I think that's what we're gonna go for next. Yes. Alright, vassalize them, but before we do that, we obviously need to get our troops together and fight our rebels. Otherwise, this is not gonna work out. One of our diplomats has returned. And we can now have a new rival, the Mamluks. We'll rival the Mamluks, sure, why not? And we'll actually... Now, since you're, you're winning that war, I will send you in... So... No, I will issue an embargo first. And then we'll do the rest. Ooh, do I want to fight the Mamluks? They still have so many men. But Karakondi does as well. So, uh, 33,000, 34,000. Problem is I have rebel problems. Rebels I need to fight first. So this is Highlands, so we're going to get the uh, the good stuff. Wait, when is this going to happen? 5th of August. Okay, so we're going to get one more tick to reinforce our troops. Uh, at least we should. Yes. And we're defending. Just need to make sure that we're defending over there as well. Oh, it's a pretty decent general they have there. But we rolled an 8 and they are 0. So that's fine. Securing victory for us. Actually lost quite a lot of men. And our leader is now a glory seeker. Prestige from land battles and army tradition. Ooh, that's actually not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Uh, where are these rivers? You have a river crossing between Kaffa. Okay, not, not there. Not even sure if that matters, but uh, don't want to don't want to take the the road crossing and we don't have to. All right. So that being said, I think we can uh, mothball these forts for now, and um, and we might want to build some more buildings. I have built a marketplace in our capital, as that was increasing the uh, the trade there by plus six. But the rest, well, actually, this plus four point. This is actually going to be good as well. Yep. It's going to improve our, our trade quite a bit. Um, we're going to have to wait here a little bit. Not too long, though. Yeah, especially now. Six cav. Um, I think we're going to have to get some Central African warriors. Three of them. Um, build them quickly. And we need to fight even quicker. Five days. Hope that will be enough. So we'll arrive on the 19th. And you will arrive on 23rd. 22nd. Okay, good. We'll do that. We'll do that. Um, 13,000. We'll have a little bit more reinforcements coming. They have terrain penalty. Ooh. Oof. Now... We cannot sortie. Ah, oh, damn it. This might not go too well for us. Oh, we're losing this. He rolled a 6, we rolled a 7. Oh, yeah, he is 3 shock general. We have this one maneuver guy. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, that was not good. That did not go our way. Not at all. Hmm, I guess we're gonna have to make this. Yeah, pay for this food. That did not go away at all. Mmm. Damn it. Alright, let's get you guys together. Well, this general really sucks balls. That is, that is true. How can you suck that much? I'd like to recruit a minister. That's just going to give them even more influence. Everything I do is going to give them influence. <sighs> I would like a new general. Where can we have four, by the way? Government rank, base value, feudalism, and power projection. 51. <sighs> yeah, we need we need a general that's at least capable of doing something. Alright, let's get you and get you close here. At least we're going to be in the mountains. And hopefully... It's, it's also because they have so many... They have so many horsemen. That's also quite useful for, to them. 
I think we're gonna stay here for now. Just chill, chill for a second. Um, Marahan, I do not want to give you any access, but yeah, you're probably gonna take them over, which is fine. I mean, I don't, I don't really mind because I'm gonna take all of this over at some point, so it doesn't matter to me. Now the problem is, this guy. If I attack him now, he will be the one defending, which I don't want. So he's gonna go to Hadija. We will be there on the 12th. He's gonna be there on the 9th. Damn it. So I cannot do that, so I will have to unsiege that province. And then if he attacks me, he's going to be the defender. So that's not good. Well, it's okay though. We should be able to take that quickly. Uh, nobles, oh, finally they lost some, some influence. Good. And Elodia, I do not want your alliance. How's Mam how the Mamluks doing? They are- Ooh! The Mamluks are fighting the Ottomans. Okay, okay, the Ottomans are actually not here, I cannot see them, but you know what, no, I need to use that, I need to use that opportunity, if I can, if I can defeat the, uh, the Mamluks here, that would be amazing, well, let's uh, build a spy network, get that second climb on Swakin, and, and we'll go for it, I think we'll go for it, as soon as we are done with these rebels, we'll go for it. Noble rebels, stupid noble rebels. Our uh, truce with Midri Bari has ended, so we could go for them. It's just that we are being held back by our rebels at the moment. Just shame. Three shot guy. At least we now we have a two shot guy. So that will be much better. And he has a two siege leader. Okay, well, we're gonna have to fight him. We're gonna have to fight him. If he, yeah, he's gonna be in the mountains. We'll have a nice terrain defensive. Uh, so that's that's what we're gonna do. This, this smash his army. Then we're just gonna have to unsiege this. All right, there you go. So he has a negative two penalty. He rolled a nine, which is unfortunate, but uh, that's okay. We will be able to destroy them. Even though he's rolling some really, he has some really nice dice rolls. But yeah, eventually we win. Great. We have the better fire stats. Nice. So this is gonna get converted on its own, and now we're just gonna have to do this. Cores are coming in, Missionary is coming in as well. We have a couple of rebels deciding to do some stuff, but that's okay. Um, nobility gains loyalty, but monthly autonomy change in all provinces for 10 years will lose stability. Ugh. I want neither. But we need, to, here's the thing. I don't want to lose stability, and I want the nobility to like me. So, I think... Yeah, we're gonna bite the bullet with the monthly autonomy change. Now, the autonomy is actually changing in our favor, I think. Yeah, it's actually changing quite a bit. So, if I was to accept the demands... Um... How's that change? Okay, so it's still gonna go down. Okay, that's okay. It's just not gonna go down as quickly. We have gained a new cause. Very nice. Could make that into territories, but they will actually cost more than, they, than we make. So, that's okay. We're, we're gonna keep them as territories for now. Now what we can do at the moment, since we are not fighting anyone, I think we're going to uh, reduce our maintenance, just so we have some money lying around, and we should probably also go ahead and build something. Build something to increase our trade, uh, not our trade, but our, our income. We can actually build in Mogadishu. Yeah, that does make sense. Hmm, should I do that? That's actually a pretty, pretty good idea. Could build a marketplace there, but they already have that. Hmm. Build marketplaces. What does our trade do? Trade is not that high. Taxation is the best. I think I'm going to keep the money in the bank for now. Uh, we'll, we'll see what we do with it. But for now, I think I'm just going to keep it. Um, okay, so the Mamluks are in, in a lot of wars. I hope that they will lose a lot of troops. They're winning other wars, though. That's the problem. What is the what is this war against the Ottomans? Defending against o Ottomans conquest on Halap, which is not theirs. Oh, it is. The Ottomans are already there. Oh, I see. So that's actually okay. We need to we need to get and uh, uh, we need to get over there and de declare one of the Mamluks. But anyways, um, I think that's going to be happening in the next episode. For now, guys, uh, I'm just going to uh, well. 
get ready for the war, we need to uh, replenish our manpower. Yeah, and the ability hates us, so that's why it's so so low. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have to replenish uh, for a little bit. Then we might take over Maitri Bari, but we more more likely going to declare the war on the Mamluks immediately. But anyways, that will be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.